Valley, who was the first black to get a PhD in Oklahoma. My friend Robert, who's the first PhD in Texas. We are still having to break the barriers of being the first to enter the fields. Somebody needs to help me to understand contextually, though, how we've gone from a discussion on Booker T and W.E.B. to Meek Mills and Jay-Z. I'm just here to talk this morning on the first, on the first. But you know, as I enter into this, Matthew is important because even as Gabby is doing her thing wonderfully, we got the sidebar people who talking about how her hair look as she flips. So I gotta be real. We got the people who have always got something to say. If I was in another place, I'd contextualize that in the spiritual place, but I'm not doing that today. I'm here to talk about how somebody gonna always have something to say. Somebody has something to say about the Williams sisters, but look at where they are now. Somebody told Oprah she needed to change her facial features to make it. She looked the same and look at where she is now. Y'all better understand that if God would have made some mistakes, he wouldn't have made you the way you are. He made you the way you are because he wanted you to be who you are. Don't get caught up trying to be somebody else. I think if I could do my thing, Jay-Z clarified it real well. He said, I felt so inspired by what my teacher said. Said either I be dead or a weed head. I had to lace up my boots even harder. I'm giving excerpts. Father is too oh, far away to father. They said, wise up, how many guys you see gonna make it from here? The world don't like us, is that not clear? But I like the way my favorite artist, I don't get caught up in the Lil Wayne, too, uh, Lil Wayne discussions in T.I. I like Tupac and he said in his solution, they punish the people that's asking questions and those that possess stealing from the ones without possessions. The message I stress to make it stop, study your lessons. Don't settle for less, even a genius ask questions. Be grateful for blessings. Don't ever change, don't ever change. Keep your essence, the powers in the people and the politics we address. Always do your best. Don't let the pressure make you panic and when you get stranded and things don't go the way you planned it. I'm simply saying that in the world of the hip hop culture, even they assess the challenge and the problems before us. You see, I'm trying to tell you that people have always had something to say. It ain't never been about what they say. It's always been about how you handle what they say. It has always been about who you are in the midst of what they say. It ain't about what you can or can't do. It's about who you are and who you are not. I'm here to tell you all they talked about Sister Rosa before she sat on that bus. But look at us today. They beat up Fannie Lou Hamer who just stood up and said, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. They murdered Mel Megger. They killed Malcolm. And they murdered Malcolm X and together Dr. Martin Luther King. I'm here to tell you that they even crucified a guy by the name of Jesus. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to tell you that it's going to always be something said about you. People gonna come for you. It ain't about them. They smile in your face all the time. Wanna take your I'm talking to the parents. <laughs> Backstabbers. You come from a history of this. It's nothing you can't do, graduates. You were built for this. You are strong because of this. You are great in the midst of this. You are already powerful. I don't want to hear about what you're going to be. You already are great. You just got to work to your greatness. Allow power to empower you. Allow courage to encourage you. Allow strength to strengthen you. Here to say, <laughs> amen. I'm here to just be an example. During this Olympic season, we can't talk about Olympics without talking about the great one, Muhammad Ali. His greatness as a teenage Olympian showed the world he followed up what he talked about. He knocked you out. But you know, his true greatness came as a result of his conviction, his character, and also his courage. When he refused to go on to fight a war, he was stripped of the very thing that made him a champion, so they thought. Muhammad Ali cannot be ignored. But since y'all are ready to go home, I'm gonna give my points and sit down. <laughs> Cause we in the building by the name of Percy Julian. I'm just here to do history. See, at the end of the day, I'm still a practitioner, teacher, and professor. See, I gotta teach, and I may not have the sociological method that you may be used to, but I'm gonna give a framework that can be free and where you need to go. I'm here as a professor first. I'm here as a professor first. Yeah, I'm here as a professor first. 
an American research chemist, Percy Julian. He received one of more than 130 chemical patents. That's who you look like. He was one of the first African Americans to receive a doctorate in chemistry. I mean, don't walk into a building and I know the power you walk into. See, that's why I tell people when they go into Paul Robeson, how you gonna go to Paul Robeson and get an F? You're going into a building that's excellent. I don't care what they don't have on Cottage Grove, even if it don't look like Downers Grove, you better get in the mix. I don't care that Highland Park got more than Rogers Park. I'm saying we've always been able to do a lot with little if I had a little bit more time. You in this building, Percy Julian. The first African-American chemist inducted into the National Academy of Sciences. The second African-American scientist inducted from any field, Percy Julian. But among his childhood memories, he found a lynch man hung from a tree, Percy Julian. Don't tell me you can't survive vacant lots and getting vacant thinking. Don't tell me you can't survive drive-bys. This man watched the man lynch and became a chemist. I'm just here to tell you who Percy Julian is. As I begin to wrap up, I'm here to tell you that Percy L. Julian moved right here to Oak Park in the Chicagoland area. And in 1950, the Thanksgiving holiday before he moved into his house, they bombed this home. You better know the history we come from. See, black academically speaking is about being cool with being black and being cool with being academic. I'm a black scholar and I ain't got no problem with it. I don't apologize for either. People want to know, people want to know why communities look the way that they look. It ain't no brain science. Nothing big about it. If you don't teach people who they are, they ain't destined to be nothing. If you don't teach people their history, they are bound to relive it. This is about understanding, black academically speaking, as a measurement. And understanding that we come from a black culture that is not deteriorating and disgusting. We owe it to America and to the world and to our God to be a better people. But I got to finish where I started. I got to leave off with this. He said, he being Percy Julian, Matthew, I like the words he penned when he suggested in his own unfinished autobiography. I feel that my own good country robbed me of the chance for some of the great experiences that I would have liked to live through. Instead, I took a job where I could not get one and I tried to make the best of it. I have been perhaps a good chemist, but not the chemist that I dreamed of being. That's important because he's saying, y'all celebrating what I've done, but I could have done more had I had the opportunity. So my question becomes to the graduates empirically, having a lot of opportunity, why you can't do more? It's time in closing. It's time, as I say in my book, I'll have a few for sale out there, autograph a couple, we'll be up, up top, outside. I'll take pictures and stand around for a while. But as I say in my book, champions break chains. I'm tired of talking about the violence, physically, without addressing the violence that's spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and psychologically happening in our kids' heads. See, it takes a lot to, to take a gun and shoot it. Before the bullet is gone, the child is already dead somewhere in spirit. It takes a lot to kill somebody, and it takes a double lot to kill somebody that looks just like you. It takes a lot to shoot at some children, but this ain't this. I'm here to talk to my graduates. I got to give you something, because I'm starting a campaign for schools. I'm going on tour like Jay-Z in the fall. I'm hitting schools, though. I ain't trying to make money. I'm trying to raise some brands called brain power. I'm going from school to school with my message. I'm going to the jails, I'm going to the churches, whatever school would allow me to come in, we're going to fill auditoriums, not to the beat of a drum, but to the beat of the books, so that you can understand what we really need. And the message is simple, I give you a, a, a little piece of it. I'm going to challenge you to go from F's to A's, there's only one vowel in that A, B, C, D, F, and I need you to grab hold of it, think about it. It's only one vowel. They got rid of E's when I was in school, so it's only one vowel. I'm challenging you to go from F's to A's. And how am I going to do that? I'm going to ask that you go from fear and failure to academic achievement and ambition. I'm going to ask that you, number one, get rid of fear. Don't be afraid to be great. If people around you can't stand your greatness, lose them, not the greatness. <laughs> See, I learned the company you keep determine the trouble you meet and all the blessings you reap. You better watch who you call friend. There's three letters at the end of that word, E and D and they can take you to your end. I don't care how long y'all been knowing each other. People change. And if they not going where you trying to be, you better leave them now because they only gonna mess up your life. 
I'm talking to some parents now who can't let go. I'm just. Don't be afraid to win. Don't be afraid to be great. This is the end of your high school career, but imagine it really is just the beginning. I don't care what F you got in chemistry, what D you got in math, today on August 3rd, you are a graduate of the class of 2012. So I don't need you to fear nothing but fear itself. As y'all say, keep it moving or lose me with the other stuff. The other fear, the other F I need you to get rid of is failure. Stop failing. Ain't no excuse for it. I tell people in all my travels now, if you won't be on Facebook after you get out, put your face in some books, because our black faces ain't in the books. Watch how you spend your time. You can't tweet success, you gotta work for it. I'm just saying. I tell people all the time, I grew up on the block, excuse me for me breaking it down, but I'm from the streets to the suites, back at the streets to holler at y'all. Five more minutes with this. Muhammad Ali said, a man who views the world the same at 50, the same at 50 as he did at 20 has wasted 30 years of his life. Times change. China built a 30-story building in a month, and we can't build Chicago's brains. We can build buildings, but can't build minds, I think not. It's time that we reject failure. If you ain't on the winning team, you ain't winning, so I can't roll with you. You can't root for the king on the court and not represent the king you're really supposed to be representing on this court. I mean, I'm just saying, get rid of failure, get rid of the F's of fear and failure, graduate into the A's, academic achievement. Don't be afraid, I keep telling you to be great, excel. If you want to be a doctor, today is your first day to start being the doctor. Don't wait until you get in the medical room, read and study now. Google who Percy L. Julian was, learn who Charles Drew did, who he was and what he offered the field of science. You better understand who Benjamin Banneker is. You better know who Harriet Tubman is. You better know Sadie Timmy Alexander, Mary Church Terrell. I dare you to know Mary McLeod Bethune. I dare you to understand what Ida B. Wells did for the world, not just for the low end. I dare you to understand for real who you come from. You better understand Stand the importance of academic achievement. Some say, well, Dr. Gill, as I begin to take my seat, I don't think college is for everybody. I don't think education is for everybody. And I tell them like this, show me a group of people that ain't educated and I'm going to show you where they are. <laughs> See, because in the end, even if you don't want a form of edu formal education, you better learn how to read. If you don't want a formal education, you better stop Googling and YouTube and everything that ain't got nothing to do with where you want to be and looking at where you are. Don't be watching people on YouTube fight each other and you can't fight the books and win. I'm here to tell you academic achievement is everything. Because even if you dare to be the basketball player, even if you dare to be the artist, even if you dare to be all those things, it still requires a level of education. And let me break it down for real. Let me help you to understand that even when T.I. goes to jail, he has to hire an attorney. That attorney had to get an education. And if that attorney comes to him and says, we need a specialist in court to show that you've had some problems, he's going to have to hire a specialist that had to get an education. Then they may say your kids need a little counseling because this is a rough spot. We need to bring in a psychiatrist, a psychologist, or a social worker. Those are all fields of study. They had to get an education. And let me bring it all home because too many of us stand before a judge. And when he go to take his court before a judge, he's going before a judge. And that judge had to get. You need an education. Need an education. If everybody talking about you don't want an education, who you gonna stand in front of? If you got a problem with the way our society is now, I need you to get an education to be the lawyer, to be the specialist, to be the social worker, to be the judge. Education will change this. I take my seat with the last A. You gonna go from fear and failure, from F's to A's, the A of academic achievement, but you gotta have some ambition. See, Huxley said, I ain't got no problem with dreams, but dreams are just that. Keep on old dreaming, but you better turn that dream into a reality. You gotta make it pragmatic. 
You got to make it precise. You got to make it prophetic even. And you also got to make it very, very, very profound. You got to have ambition. You got to work. You got to have a strong desire to make it happen. I challenge you from this day forward to join me. I'm already in day three of a 21-day fast. 21 days, give up something. You want to start making your dream a reality, have an ambition to be already what you are. Your discovery ain't about a degree, it's about understanding what you were created to do and getting a degree in that. I'm here to tell you that you gotta have ambition. Use me as an example. A woman who had her first seizure at 12, a tumor found at 13, a woman who was told that when I went to college I would never finish because they wanted to remove the tumor from my head. A woman who went full time anyway. Choose me as an example if you so choose. A neighbor that got 66 years in jail. Three cousins in Menard right now. Use me as an example because I believe anyway. Use me as an example being choked by a police officer 10 years ago this year. Hospitalized with epileptic seizure because he choked me into the hospital. Arrested from the hospital. And they said I beat him up. 19 months later, convicted as a class 3 felon. They thought they had me, but I served somebody else. I'm here to tell you that there ain't nothing that you can't do. They thought. I'm here, you can win anyway. I'm here to let you know you can do whatever you need to do anyway. That police officer choked me around my neck, but he couldn't choke my future. They convicted me in courts, but I was convicted in another way. Don't ever give up. Know who you are. 21 days are nothing but A's. Go from F's to A's, it's the only value you need. Go from fear and failure to academic achievement and ambition. Win and have ambition.